Hi, it's Steph. Thanks for clicking. This is Clue Special Panning Edition. I created this project as a Fantastic Ladies collab because I wanted to play a game. It's based on the board game Clue. It's the same three categories that you're familiar with if you've played that. You have the suspects, the weapons, and the rooms. Every month you choose three from each category. You have a prompt and then you pick a product to represent that prompt. You roll a pair of dice to determine your usage goal. And once you hit your goal, you can use that particular item in a suggestion. This game started on June 9th, and it goes until you've managed to solve it. And in a very exciting development, there are some people who have. Lynn and also Taru of Cruelty Free Panner have both managed to crack their cases. Their social media accounts are listed below, so you can go check them out in case you've missed their detective work so far. So congratulations to both of you. Now, let's talk about how I've been doing. I had been working on two suspects, two weapons, and three rooms. My first suspect was Professor Plum. He's my prime suspect, and he's something purple. And I was using this lip crayon. It's whatever brand this was got rubbed off, but it's some sort of drugstore product. It's a purple lip crayon. My goal was to use this 11 times. At the last update, I've used it seven times. I did get the last four, so I met my goal for Professor Plum. Mrs. Peacock came back in at the last update, and for her, I rolled a nine. I have used her three times in the last month, and it's this Ardency in Monster Manuka Honey and Rich Pigment in the shade Peacock. And so this one goal hasn't been met yet, so I couldn't use her. My first weapon was the lead pipe. That's a pencil, and I was using this Lord & Berry Silk Kajal Coal Pencil. It's a white eyeliner, and I had rolled an 11. At the last update, I'd used it nine times. I used it the two more and then some. I think I used this five times in the last month, so gold met for the lead pipe. There was also the revolver, that's a spray, and I've been using this Dry Bar Prep Rally Prep and Prime Detangling Spray. I do like this product. I put it on my hair once it's wet when I get out of the shower. It does work as a detangler. This month, for the first time, I tried it as a heat protectant. It says on here that it protects you up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit, and my hair hasn't seemed damaged at all, but I don't heat treat my hair all that often. Uh, so I've been using this, and I did meet my goal of 11 as set by the dice, so the revolver was also eligible to use in a suggestion. My first room was the Lounge. That's a makeup, no makeup product, and I think of lip gloss when I think of that, and I was using this Maybelline Shiny Licious Lip Gloss in Berry Bella. It is very much my oldest lip gloss. At the last update, I had four of my eight uses. I did get the other four, so the Lounge could be used this month as well. For the Ballroom, it's a product you save for a special occasion. I don't bother doing my brows unless it is a special occasion, so I brought in the Benefit Gimme Brow. This is a little sample. My goal was to use this nine times, and I did that, so the ballroom's goal was met. And my last room that I was working on was the kitchen. And the kitchen is something that is either baked or that you could use for baking. I didn't use this to bake with, but you probably could. It's the Mented Blue Setting Powder. I think it's called the Skin Silk Setting Powder, and it's in the shade Light Tan. My goal was to use this seven times, and I did. So goal met for the kitchen. So that was a goal met on one suspect, two weapons, and three rooms, which only let me make one suggestion. I've been reasonably certain for a while now that Professor Plum is in fact the murderer, and I've also been suspicious of the revolver because I've guessed them so many times and they haven't been eliminated for me. Kane has been kindly holding my solution for me, so I asked her if it could have been Professor Plum with the revolver in the lounge, figuring that I have a 20% chance of getting that right since there are five possible rooms left. And Kane told me that was it. That was the right solution, so unexpectedly, this is actually my finale. I'm going to put my evidence notebook on the screen so you can see how this worked. I didn't have to eliminate everything else in order to get the right answer, as it turns out. Maybe I should go buy a lottery ticket. But I did solve it, so this is the end of the project for me. So even though you won't be seeing me in any more videos, there are still going to be other people's updates occurring on the 9th. Thank you all for watching and thank you for your support. This was both the first time I ever filmed Project Pan videos and also the first project that I created myself. And your feedback has been great. I'm glad you've enjoyed the project. I'm glad you liked my whimsical flavor text whenever you submit your guesses. And in case you were worried, I can confirm that yes, this is going to come back for a second year. So it's probably going to still start on June 9th, same as last year. The start of the second round will not end the first round. So if you still have not solved your case by the time the second round starts, don't worry, you can still keep going. You can even play both at once. I'm going to track them on separate spreadsheets so there won't be any confusion. Good luck to everyone who is still working on their investigations, and hopefully you'll be able to join again for the round two whenever it starts in June. Bye!